A very good evening to everyone. Welcome to Global Online. Here we are back with our NTA UGC Net Paper 1 preparation for 2022 batch. And we are, are doing part B of teaching aptitude, which is a rapid quick revision MCQs. We have done yesterday part 1, wherein we have taken uh, 30 questions. Today we have taken 25 questions, which is part B, just to ensure that your revision is done. So from tomorrow, we will be having our live classes and we will be taking new topic in the live classes, which will help you to understand and prepare yourself best, you know, for your upcoming 2022 September cycle. So new live batches will be starting from tomorrow. That is 20, uh, sorry, that is 19th of August, 2022. Apart from this UGC net uh, paper one preparation for which Global Online also conduct daily live lectures, notes on all the topic, last 10 year questions, a test series consisting of 2,500 questions, which you can download with the help of Global Online app or also we can uh, text us on the given WhatsApp number. The fees is 3,500 for paper one. All you need to do is in case if you're going on Global Online, just download the app. Uh, which is and or with the help of Google Play Store, you can see the interface wherein you have to register with your uh, registered mobile number. Once you do that, you will be getting the courses. The fees payment will help you to take to the content page wherein you have the various folders. And according to the folders, we have kept the subfolders in the form of theory lectures, MCQ lectures, notes, mock tests, and evaluation tests, which will help you to prepare yourself for paper one. In case you're looking something for paper two, we do have MCQ notes and, uh, sorry, notes and MCQs available for paper two for the following subjects, which is listed on the screen. We also have added up a new topic that is new subject that is philosophy. So you will also get philosophy notes and MCQs. The fees is 1,500. You can get in touch with us with the given WhatsApp number in order to uh, avail the following notes. Yes, so total number of questions for teaching aptitude is five. Total number of marks allotted is 10. So you have 10 marks from this uh, topic and each question carries, uh, that is two marks. So let's start with today's rapid quick revision round. And this quick revision round will definitely, you know, help you to understand the things better and in a best format. So let's go with question number one. A teacher can establish rapport with the students by what? So teacher has to establish the rapport with the students by doing what? By playing the role of a guide who desires to help them becoming a figure authority, impressing the students with the knowledge or implementing stick rules. So if a teacher has to create a good bond with the students, what does a teacher has to do? Or from the given following list. So you have you can go through the options and you can select the right options. So if a teacher has to go for the, if a teacher has to establish a proper rapport with the students, this so teacher has to go with what? Teacher has to implement, uh, sorry, has to go play a role of a guide, become a figure of authority, impress the students or implement a strict rule. So teacher has to definitely, uh, teacher can build the rapport only and only by playing the role of a guide in order to, dis uh, so that who desires uh, uh, who desires to help them out, only for that, you know, the teacher will definitely play or, uh, or teacher will definitely establish a rapport with the students. Question number two talks about the quality of teaching can be assessed with what? So if you want to assess any teacher's quality or quality of teaching of the teacher, it can be assessed with what? By result in annual examination, by the attendance, by the quality of interaction or with the silence in the class. So if the teacher want to assess if the teacher's teaching quality has to be assessed, definitely it can be done only and only by the quality of interaction which happens in the class. It means it tells you that what quality, what type of productive interactions are taking place in the classroom. Then we have as which is the following, the least important aspect of teacher's role in the guidance of learning. So we are talking about what we are talking about, the least important aspect, least. It means which stands at last number. Development of insight, development of uh, in order to overcome the pitfalls, development of insight in order to constitute an adequate performance, the provision of encouragement or the provision of continuous diagnostic and remedial help. So what it will result into. So it will result into definitely 
the least will be resulting in development of insights to overcome the pitfalls and the obstacles. So this is what is definitely uh, going to be part of what would be the least uh, aspect of teacher's role in the guidance of learning. Then which of the following should not be the main role of the teacher at the educational level? Should not. So just when you are getting these questions now, here I am there to, you know, highlight these important points. But when you are reading in the examinations hall, it should be you who should be very, very, very attentive for this. So which should be not the main role? So when we provide information to students, when we promote self-learning, when we encourage healthy competition or to help the students to solve their personal problem, which of the following should not be the main role of teacher in education at the education at higher level so one which is not definitely not a main role in the higher education will be that of you know helping the students to solve the personal problem higher education in fact it helps the students to you know get a solution for their own problem so this cannot be you know the main role Next question. Next question talks about activities of interaction in logical order. So analysis of work done, planning and preparation, presentation of material, modification and improvement, which will, which has the activities, you know, which results into the activity or of interaction in the logical order from the given. So you have to put them in the logical order. Yes, the one which can be in logical order is definitely something that starts with planning. Yes. Something that goes on with analysis, sorry, a presentation, something which goes on with analysis and then comes finally is the modification and improvement. So planning is the first important step and improvement comes in the last important step when we talk about interaction. As I said, it is a little bit rare. We have done this question n number of times. We have done a good amount of, you know, uh, separate lectures for this question. So today's questions will be, you know, it's like a rapid round where you have to ensure that you are answering in the minimum possible time just to ensure that you are not wasting your time in examination hall for uh, certain questions which are simple in nature, but obviously where you, are, where you have to be very alert. Okay, and you can utilize the remaining time for your tough or complicated questions like mathematical and logical in order to solve them correctly. Effective teaching means all except the following. So when we talk about effective teaching, it indicates all except what? A teacher teaches with enthusiasm, a teacher finds faults in student, a teacher puts the emphasis more on teaching than on class control, a teacher is interested in making the subject matter understood rather than in completing the course. So it is basically what? So a teacher mean effective teaching means all, but there is an exception. So this exception stands to be what? A teacher find the faults in students. Definitely it is not, you know, uh, teacher can find the fault in students, but effective teaching does not result into finding the fault. So that is something which is very, you know, which is exceptional. Now, if students fail in the examination, it is a fault of whom? Is it a fault of teacher? Is it a fault of principal? Is it it's a fault of a student? Or it cannot be generalized. So when a teacher, when a, when a student fails in an examination, it results into what? It cannot be generalized whose fault it is. It cannot be, you know, it uh, definitely it is not the fault of a teacher, the principal or a student. It is something which is completely out of, you know, uh, a generalization. So it is not the fault of any of the given list. So definitely the answer will be it cannot be generalized. Now, a teacher who is not able to draw the attention to the, of the students should do what? A teacher who is trying the level best but is not able to draw the attention of the students should evaluate the teaching method, should resign from the post, should find the fault in the pupil or should start dictating. So one teacher, the teacher who is not able to find the faults definitely should evaluate the teaching his or her teaching methods and improve it it means something is going wrong in the teaching and that's the reason the students are not able to consent so that should be evaluated and definitely the it should be improved now the primary task of a teacher is what to teach the prescribed curriculum to stimulate and guide the students learning to provide diagnostic and remedial aid wherever desired to promote habit of conformity to adult students uh, demands and expectations so the primary task of a teacher is definitely what to dis to teach and dis to teach the prescribed curriculum to stimulate and guide students to provide diagnostic or to promote habits of conformity so the primary task of a teacher from the given list will definitely to stimulate and guide the students learning that is to stimulate 
the reaction and finding out the guiding part to the students learning. Next one, which we have is which of the following is the unsuccessful, which of the following uh, of the teacher's behavior suggests an unsuccessful teacher behavior. It's a teacher who, it means an unsuccessful behavior is one who always keep motivating the students business-like and friendly approach, aloof and focused on routine tasks or understanding and uh, sympathetic behavior. So which results into a unsuccessful teaching behavior? Always motivating the students, business-like and friendly approach, aloof and focused on routine tasks or understanding and sympathetic attack. So the one which is definitely an unsuccessful behavior that is, you know, involving or involvement like a business-like and, you know, friendly approach. So we know that there has to be a limit and the limit has to be followed by each and every uh, teacher uh, towards the student. Next, a teacher is who? So we a teacher is the one who provides an overview of the topic who has a good communication skills, who has a command over the subject or all of that above. A teacher is the one which results into what? A teacher is the one which is, you know, all of above. Obviously, should provide an overview, should provide a good communication and should definitely uh, command have a command over all the subjects. Oh, that is all the subjects. So all of them results into what? Results into the teacher. Now, question number 12, which talks about which of the following is, it de is desirable from a new teacher as his or her professional responsibility. Uh, so what is, de what is desirable as a part of a professional responsibility? So the options are changing the course curriculum to cooperate with the fellow teacher to follow the procedure or none of the above. So if a following, you know, is a required quality from a new teacher in order to have her professional responsibility. So which of them is the, uh, the, uh, the option? So the one which talks about the required quality with respect to, you know, professional responsibility is to cooperate with the fellow teacher despite of having differences. Um, uh, with the teacher, with the teacher fraternity or with the rest of the teachers. Now, the greatest important cause of failure in beginning of a teacher lies in the area of what? So if a teacher fails, okay, the responsibility of this failure results into what? Interpersonal relationship, verbal ability, knowledge of the teacher or, you know, the tight handling to the, of the students. So it will be resulting into what? It will be resulting into the interpersonal relationship. So the greater failure will result or the the cause of a failure in the beginning of a teacher will result for, result for what? Interpersonal relationship. Then, Nirambaka, the school based on ideas of free progress education was the one which was advocated by M.K. Gandhi, Vivekanand or Don, John Dewey or Arbindo. So, one who has you know, brought up this idea of uh, uh, the idea of schools based on, you know, uh, progress education, free progress education. So, definitely it was brought by whom? It was brought by Arbindo. The week, next we have is the most important single factor of success of, for a teacher in beginning of a teaching career. So when we when we talk about a teaching career, what is the most important factor? Fluency, attitude, personality or competence. So which results into one of the most important or a successful single factor which results into one of them. So the one which results into one of the successful factor in beginning is personality and ability to adjust into the classroom. So this is one of the most important single factor result in beginning of a teaching career. Next we have is for a teacher in higher education institution, which of the following is the best option in order to do in a leisure time. So if we talk about leisure time, which results into one of the best option. So when you talk about leisure time, is it taking rest? Is it reading the magazine, talking to the administrative staff or doing research? So which one results into one of the best option for a teacher in leisure time? So that is nothing but to do or what to do def definitely to do research is one of the best option in order to do the uh, in order to utilize the leisure time next we have is if a parent approaches the teacher to do some favor to his or her ward a teacher should what teacher should react by trying to help them ask him not to talk in those terms refuse politely and firmly or talk rudely and go away so if a teacher gets some un un uh, unaccepted request from a ward or you know from the uh, from the parents so what should be done so definitely teachers should refuse it politely and firmly 
for the for the for the uh, for this favor which has been asked towards the teacher from the parents the experienced teachers do not require the detailed lesson plan of a topic so when a very experienced teacher will definitely not require a detailed plan why because they teach more effectively they are cute they are just there are just few curious students the teacher is not likely to face any challenge or they are not they can equip themselves with you know outline uh, through experience so why does the experienced teacher does not require lesson plan just this is because of you know they are equipped with you know outline specialization which is gained through what which is gained through experience next we have is the field of education which is permitted it means filled by conflicts and misconception why so the field of education is also one which is you know not left with this following attribute it is uh, uh, permitted it means filled by conflicts and misconception what is the reason behind that subjectivity of interpretation problems lack of good teaching methods or all of the above which is the one which is filled you know uh, why it is filled with the misconceptions and uh, conflicts so because this is because of problems are not amicable that is manageable to the rigorous rigorous scientific investigation so because of this you know the field of education is filled by conflicts and misconception Next, we have is in the introduction part of a lesson plan, the teacher plans to uh, get students, you know, uh, assignments or teacher, uh, we have aptitude, attention or ability. In the introduction part of a lesson plan, a teacher gets to what for the students. So definitely it is the assignments, aptitude, attention or ability. So yes, no doubt it is only and only the attention. Next, we have is the, with the development of a technology, the role of a teacher in the future will be what? to provide information, to develop new textbooks, to guide the students or to use the internet in teaching. So the role of technology is improving. It will result into what? It will definitely result to guide the students as per the appropriateness of what? Appropriateness of technology. Next we have is uh, what does the cognitive of, you know, domain of Bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives affects the learner? What does cognitive domain affects the learner so with thoughts or uh, with emotions or with the uh, skills or all of the above so the one which what which is related to the cognitive domain of bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives affect learner because of what it affects learner because of thoughts it is because of the thought process now the purpose of national education policy so when we talk about national education policy the purpose of national education policy is universalization of primary education, vocationalization of education, a vibrant knowledge, okay, or to give an equal opportunity. So what does the purpose of national education policy is? So the purpose of the national education policy lies in what? In vibrant knowledge, equitable knowledge in order to provide the high education quality to all the students. Then we have as the most important challenge of teaching as a resource teacher. So as a resource teacher, what is the most important challenge? Identification and assessment, sensitization of pa public parents and peer groups, establishing resource room and supplying the devices or teaching plus curricular activity. So what, what, what is the one which result into most important challenge? The one which results into most important challenge is nothing but, you know, teaching plus curricular activities. So what is, first of all, a resource teacher? A resource teacher is nothing but, you know, a professional who provides small group instruction for the students with specialized needs. So, so, that, so such teacher is nothing but a, a teaching. Means that teacher is for such teacher, the challenge in the teaching plus curricular activities. Which method will be more useful in teaching college students uh, about quantitative, qualitative research methods? So, which method from the given conference, workshop, lecture, discussion, which will result into the qualitative research method? So, one, that is the workshop, will be resulting into the qualitative research methods. Okay, that, that's all everyone for the day. So, this rapid question, teaching aptitude, which is over, you can just put the scores and let us know, you know, what is the scores from tomorrow, we'll be having the live classes. So, let's see how the live classes revision, you know, will speed up so that you can cope up with your uh, final examination. I mean, to say you can definitely cope up with your preparation for your final examination uh, and do your best in order to crack the examination. Thank you.